play a boy and a lot of people say that boys are better than girls but I don't think that's true so I tried my hardest to beat the boy. Okay, so you see right away why why can blunder the game. This is this is completely horrible. That's losing. So the move that, that if if someone does play this, it's to go knight d7 actually. So at IS3 team we have one of the uh, best chess programs in the United States, and we've been uh, operating for about 15 years. We started as a very very small program with only about eight kids in it. And one year we traveled to the nationals and we won. And it got bigger and bigger. And we've won many, many national championships of all different types over the last 15 years. So this year on our team, our, many of our best players are girls, which is pretty unique, <clears throat> both on our team historically and in chess in general. There's been a historic struggle to get girls involved in chess. So it's really amazing this year that we have so many talented girls on our team. Four of our girls this year qualified um, to play on the U.S. national team. This is like the first time we got four good girls together on one team, and they're forced to be reckoned with for sure. Uh, congratulations on getting picked to go to the girls' nationals. Here's the information that you need. The uh, cost of the trip is free uh, because we had some people that donated some money. <laughs> Any questions? Uh, there's a network? Yeah. Wi-Fi? Yes, there's Wi-Fi. Yay! Yay! Wait, there's Wi-Fi? Wait. We will be bored. Internet is life. <laughs> this is a, an excellent opportunity for your child to participate against the best in the nation. Manan, she was born in China. She came to our school as an ESL student, which basically means she was still learning English. Um, and she's made incredible, incredible progress. She's one of the best female chess players in the United States. And Samantha has an interesting story. She lives along with her brother who's on the chess team too. Her mom passed away, I think, two or three years ago. In many ways, like, Samantha plays the role of the mom with the younger brother. Katrina is, is like a, a sort of a different story. She's much more Americanized um, than maybe the other girls. Some of the other girls were born in China. Katrina was born here. Vicky lives with her grandma. Um, her and her brother, who's also on the chess team. She's inc an incredibly mature seventh grader. We're calculating E5. We've got to figure out, all right, what, what can Black do here? Who is the tactic master that can solve it? Vicky! Queen takes. <laughs> queen takes. Queen is the first right move. Bishop takes. Knight of seven is correct. Vicky. King moves. King G7 and knight takes. Vicky solved it. Good job, Vicky. Oh, we have like tennis left. You can play some blitz. No. A good chess player in junior high school, like a good player, is like I would say 1600 and above. So she's she's in the top maybe five percent of scholastic players in the country. Most, so of, most of the trophies the are Vicky's. Is Calvin's. This one right here is Calvin's. And then I think that's it. And then this one, I just got it recently on uh, March 1st, 2015, February. And it was the 48th annual New York State Scholastic Chess Championship. I guess it's my biggest one. some really good chess. Shake hands. You guys can start. Good luck. In this tournament, um, it's been dominated by the females from IS318. And it looks like right behind me, Samantha Dung is also in a, in a very tough battle against a very strong player. Samantha, it's okay. It's now. Yes, it is. Come over here. Your father will be proud of no. you. No. <laughs> Samantha, you always come to me with a game 82 moves long. Slow down, calculate. All right, a little more thinking, right? And these girls, they probably take losses very hard all, all for them. You got one more game. Sometimes I have to be, you know, there to comfort her and make sure she feels good for her next game. You know how the girls are? They don't like to lose. 
So Show like he's playing Show me. me. Show me. His name is so hard. Show me. He's two and zero. Oh, um, and he's pretty strong. Right? He doesn't like beasts. A little beast. They like they have like a rivalry going on. All right, so Vicky wins, she would take over the top spot for the girls at Ice 318. She'll be well over 1900 if she goes 3 0. And if her opponent wins a game, he'll break 1900 for the first time as a fourth grader. I believe Vicky's gonna win 3 0. Vicky, I think they're gonna draw. No, I believe she will win. So, right now, this is the position. Vicky's king is in trouble, and he found every precise move right now. So depending on his next move, we'll know whether she's gonna win or lose. Should've taken the draw. Well, we went back and forth between winning and losing, but um, at the end, I lost. Say chess. <laughs> She's tough. I won all my games by luck. <laughs> chess is a game. Whoever makes the first mistake is gonna usually lose. Yeah, so whoever. No. That's not luck. No, no. That's not luck. That's not always true. Usually, did I say always or usually? Okay. Usually. Yes or no? I have big, big expectations of Vicky. I think I believe in her more than she believes in herself. Chessie. Oh, you told me that before. Chessie. Chessie. I'm trying to figure out how you say chess in their language. And my language is ajedrez. You know, she has a brother, Calvin, that supports her um, big time. You know, they, they feed off each other and they help each other out because they're pretty much all they have right now. So uh, we're, we're on the verge of our two of our big trips for the year. We'll be going to Chicago with the girls for the girls' national championship. Hopefully we'll have good results. Now, overall, the, you know, the trip went really, really well. We won the under-14 uh, section, and uh, we're uh, girls' national champions once again. How do you feel, Mr. Galvin, for the all-girls national? Oh, I feel just great. Vicky did, did uh, fairly well at the tournament. She won her first four games, so at one point in the tournament she was in first place. She lost her last two rounds um, to really good players. Some kids uh, would be in tears or just crushed, but she just was Vicky, just like a little Energizer Bunny, just ready to play her next game. She's really remarkably resilient. She was an important part of why we won the uh, girls' championship. I, I don't have any kids myself. If I had to have a daughter, like, you know, that I think, like, if she was my daughter, I'd be, like, really proud of her. works in Delaware and she usually vis visits me during the holidays. She usually calls me on the phone so I guess it's not that far away. My grandparents treat me a little better than Vicky and they think the males are supposed to like more are supposed to be more superior against females. They think that females aren't supposed to play chess until like when she like was very like um persistent in trying to persuade them into start playing chess and then if she does well she could continue playing chess. There are girls on the team whose parents I've never met yet I've traveled all over the United States with the team and I've never met their parents. These are parents who are working a tremendous number of hours um, and they want the best for their kid. I wish the parents knew how great their own children were at this that chess is not just a game of moving pieces of plastic around a piece of you know a, a game board that the tremendous amount of work that the girls have put in. When I was watching Vicky's game earlier today, she was completely losing. 
I said, okay, Vicky, you can resign this game. And she's like, no, absolutely not. I'm not resigning this game. A lot of the girls on the team have a little catchphrase that they use, which is never resign, which is um, it's kind of their philosophy of um, even though you're losing, you never give up. And it's something that they really created on their own. It symbolizes their sort of attitude toward life, which is, you know, fight until the very end. And, and I think those are the type of people that in the end are, are really successful uh, in life. Is this play chess like a girl? In chess, the most powerful piece on the chessboard is the queen. 